Oh, I bet with an update. Okay, so we have the gun. 8.8 centimeter. This is all a one piece plastic barrel. Quite handy, isn't it? You know, you know, seam lines to, well, you've got a very fine seam line to get rid of, but. Probably a metal barrel would be better. Um, so we've got all the shield and everything on. We've got the uh, sights and everything on. Um, we have the breach in the back there. Uh, it has elevation. It moves on elevation and it also has recoil. A bit tight. Sort of um, sand it down a little bit better to make it fit make it work a bit better so yeah that's gonna go that's gonna pop down in there you have to jiggle it about to get it in to sit properly there we go in there before yeah she's starting to look like what she's supposed to look like uh we've got the tow cable to do i've got the um Gun, call it unlock, goes on the front to put down. We have the ammunition cases to go in there. We have spare wheels that we need to get on the back here and glued in place. Get two of them, we've got the tracks to get on. And have these odds and sods over here to get on. So vision ports, um, machine gun, I can't remember the bloody name of them. Anyway, mission parts for the machine gun which sit on the side, and the viewfinder for the officer, and it's not in a picture. The rear doors. Uh, but before we put all these odds and sods on, I need to get the old uh, camouflage on the outside and deckled up. So I'm looking. I think I said, if I remember rightly, I was going to do this one, the third company of the 88th Saint Battalion, Eastern Front 44. So I've got paint already for that. I think that actually don't like that little heart. But it's all part of that makeup. Or I could do the Five twenty fifth heavy anti tank battalion heavy. Um, nah, you know what? I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna do that one. I'll do the eighty eighth heavy anti tank. I don't want to do the winter wash. I've tried winter wash once before, and uh, never been any good at winter wash. Not gonna use the figures. Uh, yeah, so we're very close. I'm going to wrap this update up and I'll hopefully get back to you when it's got some paint and other bits done. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back. Here's another update. Uh, as you can see, we have some bit of weathering going on inside. Not much. Um, it's just wear and tear really on the inside. Uh, the paintwork looks a little bit shit, to be honest with you. Uh, not much more I can do about it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, if you actually build this kit, don't follow uh, Tamiya's paint instructions for the dark green XF61. I can assure you it's nothing like this at all. It 
is literally it's like a black green very 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 dark you can probably see the out the outskirts of the sea you can see it here where i've never managed to paint over the edge and just on the edge of there but yeah it's very 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 dark dark very dark green really 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 don't use that color um you want to use something like uh an olive green or or a nato green if you're going to use the tamiya colors uh decals let me see i'll put the decals on um i don't i'm not really going to do much more to this and a very nice build I just got to dust it up a little bit more. Uh, apart from that, it's about finished. So I've got to wait for the decals to set. I've got a, a coat of uh, um, satin varnish over the top of it, and then uh, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go get the rear doors on because we've got no rear doors on here just yet. But most of everything else is already done, finished. So I'll check back in and. Uh, see the vinyl result in a bit okay and back doesn't look much different to uh, the last update but here we are i'm calling this finished got the back doors on as you can see in the open position so if i want to um complete the figures and put the figures in then i've got got that situation excuse me so all I've done now is to I put all the uh, accoutrements on so you've got the movable viewfinder there for the officer uh, viewfinders here on the sides, the machine gun stays on the side, the decals are on and I'll we'll turn it this way I've given it a light dusting of uh, a dust colour so you know that's as far as the weathering goes for me um yeah the button still moves up and down goes backwards and forwards unfortunately when i installed it i put too much glue in there so it doesn't it doesn't rotate unfortunately oh my god So yeah, it's now in uh, one position, basically far and forward. So. It's a very, very nice kit. It went together extremely well. Can't argue with that. The glue, the extra glue in there is my fault. Otherwise, you know, does exactly what it says on the box. All the track is movable, both sides. Let's say the gun and that elevates and thing. And um, not much go by on the inside. We are weathering down. The breech block does move, but you've got to have very uh, tiny fingers to get in there and make that. So the only way I can get that to open is. bother just in case yeah it's a maneuverable position there's this side just to make sure all the, all the wheels all the wheels do all the things i could go back and uh weather it up differently but you know see i don't really want to so that's it that's one piece of armour finished and I haven't done that for quite a while it was a Churchill or a Sherman Firefly that was in the process of building but never got around to finishing off because the Firefly broke the chassis, uh, not the chassis, the oh well, well I was doing a fit oh. I beg your pardon the armour when I was doing a fit can't remember what happened to the Churchill. 
somewhere around. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Uh, very nice kit. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my uh, subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Guys, are uh, everything that makes our channels grow. So, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.